Uh, I'd like to ask the panel for uh, their favorite metaphor or historical parallel with the world that we're facing today. Do we live in a Conan mm -hmm. the Barbarian world, the Wild West, Star Trek? <laughs> what is your favorite, fiction or non-fiction? Okay, leave it to somebody in the, uh, uh, to come up with a really cool question. Uh, what's the metaphor that most describes the world we're in from in, in the cyber cybersecurity world that we're in? Huh. Just testing your creativity and your, you know, and the cameras are rolling. Can't you, can't you just ask me how to break into something? <laughs> <laughs> now I, I think war games. <laughs> No, you know it's it's funny. Um, they had they had that movie. It was a, it's an older movie, Sneakers, right? Mm. It's, it's a classic movie, but that was what twenty years ago, yeah. I would say twenty years ago, right? That is the embodiment of what it is today. Um, but just twenty years ago, it was it was just talked about back then. I, mean, I think it is a little bit of the wild wild west, just because there there is a lack of laws and regulations that can, because it's hard to understand what really a cyber domain is and all the possible permutations, because it's not physical anymore, right? There are some physical elements to it, but the logical aspect of it has created an exponential problem that you can't, when you have physical assets to control, it's a little bit easier. When you can't even understand what assets you have, it's hard to control if you don't know what you have. I think it's a little bit more of like the wild, wild west. I wasn't really a, a Trekkie, so I can't comment on it being like Catherine. Star Trek. So from, from an academic point of view, I see that we're um, in a place that's really, maybe the particularities of threats and actors are different, but as a realist, like so if you think um, Ken Waltz, the uh, right. classic realist, he would describe the world as an anarchical system, self-help, States are the unitary actors and the primary actors. I believe we are still in that same world. That hasn't changed. Now, from a constructivist point of view, going on to Went, we are in the world and have been as well, where, as a constructive would say, you still can get agreement among parties. You, you know, whether it's through states as the primary actors, you can, like with the Soviet Union in Cold War, whether it's through treaties and persuasion or a common understanding of what would be mutually uh, beneficial for you to agree on and therefore self-restrict your behavior and not, not seek a self-help, you know, go into the self-help realm. So in a constructivist would say identities and norms are constructed, constructed through interaction among states. I believe we are in a realist constructive arena and we always have been in that. So states have not gone away as some have opined in cyber. I think Vin Cerf and the manifesto of those uh, original creators of the internet envisioned this internet would be free of government uh, control. I come, just came back from a conference uh, speaking about the sovereignty and the role of states. That has not changed. We are in, still state-dominated primary actors, an arctical world, but still space for agreement and compromise where we can minimize the amount of disorder in cyber. I, I, I would just like to add, because I think it is a cool question, that, that um, as an outsider to this, th 